Hello and welcome at uh, DigiTalks by PGS Software. We're here in Frankfurt at Digital Twins 2019. It's Europe's leading conference on this technology. And I'm here with Daphne from IBM. Daphne, would you like to introduce yourself? My name's Daphne Coates and I am a technology consultant for IBM and I work within cognitive process transformation. I uh, heard your presentation today. It was about governing bias in artificial intelligence. Yep. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? What kind of bias uh, exists? So bias is primarily a human concept where we've got about 180 different classified biases where we make assumptions or prejudices before we make a decision. And essentially with the digital twin concept, if we're looking at neural networks, um, deep neural layers, synapses, we're essentially replicating the physical brain um, in a virtual environment. So along with our human biases, they also get transferred into the virtual representation. So what that means is our AIs are producing discriminatory, biased and prejudiced outputs which are unethical, unfair and sometimes can even be illegal. So my work is around governing those biases and how can we mitigate that from creating unsustainable outcomes. Has that already been implemented in the digital twin projects at IBM? Is it an ongoing process? So IBM has a range of different toolkits and softwares that look at firstly explainability. When we have an output or a decision that's made by an AI, which variables constituted to that decision and what weighting did they have? Did you get a loan approved because of your age, because of your gender, or was it because of your credit history? And for example, a lot of banks are producing bias outputs because they're charging, for example, minorities higher interest rates based on past data. So a lot of the work IBM does is looking at explaining why and how these decisions are made. We also have toolkits that look at fairness metrics and try and govern these outputs by saying, have you got representative training data? Have you got enough volume of your training data? Because if you're making systems that are based on past decisions, how can we make a fairer and less biased future from that?